Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. Today I would like to share my dream concerning President Trump. So in this dream, I saw Trump standing on a podium and he was delivering a speech to a very large gathering. And all of a sudden, he stops the speech and I see him walking towards a room where there is a small group of people inside that room and he tells them to join the gathering. And as they were walking out, I suddenly saw two, three people, I don't know who they are, they were yelling and screaming at President Trump. And Trump was explaining the situation to them. Now, I don't know what exactly is the situation because it was not very clear in the dream. He was explaining to them and these people, they were yelling and screaming at him. And uh, he was, you know, again, explaining them uh, very gently, but um, for some reason they were very rude, very disrespectful, and they were not willing to listen to him. And I was, you know, standing feet away from Trump, and I was, you know, watching all this confrontation between Trump and these guys. And suddenly he leaves, and I immediately follow him. I look at him and I say, President Trump, can I talk to you privately? And he looks at me and he says, yes. He then takes me to a room and then we begin to talk. And when I looked at his face, I was really shocked at what I saw. I mean, his face was really filled with extreme sadness and pain. He was very sad and that's it. That was the end of the dream. I mean, the Trump that I saw on TV was not the same Trump that I saw in my dream. So the first dream that I had of President Trump was this. I saw him as a very sweet person. He was sitting in a private room with his family. And I was really amazed to see his sweetness and gentle character. But when he stepped out of that room, he was a very tough guy. And his face was rude. I mean, this is a Trump that we all see on TV. I mean, he likes to act tough and talk tough. But, you know, in this second dream, he was very sad and he was really filled with pain. You know, it's so easy for us to judge him and, you know, and I know that a lot of people don't like President Trump because he's a very tough, arrogant and rude. But you know what? We as people, we tend to look at his upward appearance, but God sees his heart and God knows his pain. So what I'm trying to say is this, as God's children, we must vote for the candidate who upholds Bible values. You know, it says in 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 7, But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not consider his appearance or height, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not see as a man does, for man sees the outward appearance, but the Lord sees the heart. So dear brothers and sisters, please listen to this. If you're going to vote for a candidate, then we have to get biblical. We are not voting based on our feelings and desire. We are not voting based on one's personality or behavior or gender. I remember during Hillary Clinton, when people were voting for her, they were asking like, why are you voting for Hillary Clinton? And they all said, because we wanted to have a female president. That's extremely wrong. If you're going to vote, then please vote for someone who upholds Bible values. Donald Trump, he's a pro-life and he's pro-Israel and he's also for traditional marriage. Now, if you truly have the spirit of the Lord in you, the spirit of God will definitely lead you to the right candidate, a candidate whom God wants you to vote. So please don't vote for whom you want to vote for. Vote for who God wants you to vote for. He knows what's best for the nation. So your vote must align to God's will. If you're a pro-life, pro-traditional marriage, pro-Israel, and you don't want your kid to have the ability to change their gender identity, and you don't support the LGBTQ, then obviously you will vote for Donald Trump. I really don't understand how people could vote for the Democrat. There are so many evangelical Christians in support of Joe Biden. Now, Joe Biden is a lying, corrupt crook. He's guilty of multiple crimes against his own people and around the world. Now, Joe Biden's agenda is really an evil one. His motive is to stop the Trump's administration, and he wants to destroy everything that Trump has done for the nation. 
I have heard that they've already prepared a very long list of Trump's action for Biden to undo. Now let us talk a little bit about this LGBTQ. Now if you talk about Joe Biden, he's really a champion for lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender Americans. You know what he said? He said that trans rights are human rights. I want you to take a look at this picture and tell me if this is right in the eyes of the Lord. Kamala Harris, she's driven by a Jezebel spirit. She's very evil and a cunning woman. You know, her main intent is to attack God and those who worship him. Now, do you know what Joe Biden said about this lady? This is what he said. Kamala Harris, she's as smart as a devil. So you hear this? She's as smart as a devil and has a backbone like a ramrod and she is vastly experienced. So his running mate is as smart as a devil and you guys want to vote for this evil Biden. And not only that, if Joe Biden wins the presidency, the Equality Act will be his top legislative priority, a priority that Donald Trump opposes. Now I want you to watch this video and carefully listen to what this brother says about the Equality Act, because this is going to affect a lot of righteous people a lot of righteous people who live in the United States. And listen, many people don't understand that there is a thing called, it's a bill called the Equality Act, okay? It's a bill that hasn't become law, but it's being heavily pushed by the Democrats. And in this equality, I want to expose the agenda of the Democratic Party. Folks, this, this is a bill that if my eight-year-old daughter came to me and said, I want to be a man under the Equality Act, I as her dad can do nothing to try to prevent my eight year old from becoming a man having transgender surgery. The Equality Act also, if you are a pastor or a leader and a homosexual couple comes into the church and wants to get married. Under the Equality Act being pushed by the Democrats, you have to marry them. Under the Equality Act, if you are a principal at a Christian school and a homosexual wants a job, under the Equality Act, you cannot not hire them because of your religious beliefs. Folks, I'm telling you, this is a completely demonic agenda. Now, the LGBTQ people, this is what they say. Mike Pence, he's one of the worst wise president. And you know what Biden said? Mike Pence was using his religious freedom as an excuse to license discrimination. It is wrong and immoral what they're doing. So this is what Joe Biden said with regards to Mike Pence. Because Mike Pence, he upholds biblical values. And Joe Biden stands for the devil. And that is why he has a problem with Mike Pence. Joe Biden is basically an anti-God, anti-life, anti-pro-traditional marriage, anti-Israel, and he doesn't uphold Christian values. Now I need you to read this text from a lady by the name Tammy Brewer. God brought something to my attention this morning. I don't know what to think. I would just say, do your own research and come to your own conclusions. But in everything, stay on your knees. Joe Biden said in the debate, we are in for a dark winter. I just thought he was being negative. Google dark winter. Lord, the evil we are up against at times seems overwhelming. I used to have no problem writing my prayers down, but at this moment, I'm at a loss for words. All that comes to mind is, dear Lord, help us, save us, and protect us. This is from Tammy Brewer Humphreys. Now, I really don't understand how the evangelical Christians are voting for Joe Biden, because this guy, he stands for abortion until birth, 
He wants to turn America into a socialist nation with no rights for the citizens. And he wants open borders, not only to spread COVID across America, but to open the floodgates to radical Islamic terror. I mean, opening the U.S. border, it will be a great news for any terrorist organization. I mean, seriously, there will be more crimes, more drugs, and more terrorism. And he wants to raise taxes over 10 times more. And he wants to end all the fossil fuels that will end the job over 25 million people. And yet we have many evangelical Christians voting for this evil Biden. I really don't understand. If you're a Christian and you're voting for the Democrat, then you may want to have a long talk with the father because many Christians are voting out of ignorance because of their lack of discernment. I want you to separate the word Democrat, D-E-M-O, and Crat separately, C-R-A-T-S. And I want you to add the word yen right after demo, demon, D-E-M-O-N, demon crats, because your party has fully been taken over by the demons, really. The enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. The Democrats, they want to kill the babies, they want to steal your freedom and destroy the nation. So please, people, open your eyes and know the truth and seek God's will. Pray and ask the Lord to show you whom to vote. I'm really praying for President Trump because we really need to pray for him and we want the right candidate for the nation. Because if you vote for the wrong person, I'm telling you, it's going to be a doom for the entire nation. So do pray for President Trump. I'm, I'm really praying for God's mighty hedge of protection over him and over his family and over his staff, over his secret services and over the White House. And I'm really praying for the spirit of the Lord to be upon him. I'm asking the Lord to fill him with supernatural wisdom. I pray for the spirit of counsel, the spirit of knowledge, the spirit of understanding and the spirit of truth to be upon him and above all the favor of Lord to rest upon President Trump. I pray that no weapon formed against him shall prosper. The enemy has no say because God is still on the throne. And I'm really praying for God to shut out all the noise and darkness over him and to halt any harm that tries to come on him. So please continue to pray for President Trump that God will keep him safe and strong through the arrows that fly past by him. May the Lord keep his shield of protection over and around President Trump. I mean, I really don't understand the huge attacks that he has endured and how witches they cast mass spell against Donald Trump and still he's dancing with joy. I mean, I was just watching this video and I really feel sorry for him. I mean, the attack is too strong on him. Has there been any president people hated? Witches cursed openly? It's not politics, but a spiritual warfare. If there is a change in regime, America will be sealed for fast judgment. We have a short frame to pray for mercy. You know, I read this beautiful quote. This is what it says. Trump gave up his billionaire lifestyle just to be ridiculed, slandered, and humiliated in order to save America. I really, really wish if everyone could appreciate this awesome president and see what the Lord is doing through him. Please continue to pray for him and lift him up. Before you vote, I request you to kindly fast and pray and seek God's will. Make sure that you vote for the right candidate. Because voting for the wrong candidate, it's going to be a very, very hard time for the righteous people. So thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to stay in this word and be blessed.
Thank you.